So we've got about a 30 minute walk until we get to the traditional village to check out all of what is going to be happening there. But in this area, Loch Lahone, this is also the largest longhouse in the area. And they still have their ceremonial events because nowadays they've stopped living in these large communities. So as you can see just over here, normally happens, the biggest festival is actually at the end of harvest. And it's still very much a tribal animistic kind of tradition in here. The communities in Asia all used to live together. And I can yeah. see it in the Balinese culture, I can see it in the hill tribe culture. So it's, it's, it's really important for us as a food culture to be able to bring a little bit of that element into us and to understand tradition, understand history. And that's why it's so important for us as chefs to be able to deliver this to the society of food porn, yeah. of Instagram food. And pay tribute to that. So mm. without people trying to recreate those dishes and tell those stories, those recipes are tough to be able to only grab from the internet. You're missing the stories, you're missing the flavors, you're missing the smells, and that's kind of what we're here to do. And that's the point of, you can get a recipe, an old recipe, onto the internet. But if you've never tasted it in the village with the people and with that spirit, yeah it's never going to be the same dish. And that's why, you know, it's very important for us to discover this. It's so nice to walk into an authentic village like this, where daily life is just every day. I mean, this is what everyone is doing. So if you have a look at this, this is amazing. Look at this. Still soft. Freshly scraped. Yeah. So you can see there's the scraping element of here. And then these are all the shavings. And you know what this could be really good for? Smoking. Oh, that's, that would be wonderful. That would be awesome. See, you know, it, it's so important to go back to these cultural elements that we can then see where the beginning, I keep on stating this because, I don't know, this is very much for me where cuisine keeps on starting. Let's see what else this village has to offer. Mayasi, yeah. Mayasi. So here we have the Kimari is this wonderful and there's an old wives tale that basically you should always roast or fry these first but since they've boiled them already it's cooked. it's cooked so obviously roasting them or drying them basically takes out the moisture absolutely in indonesia it's all about smoking and it's all about to get into someone's community and to get into someone's house it's all about the rocco yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the Indonesian version of Donald Trump. With the hair cut like that, yeah, you're gonna be president soon, yeah, of America. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. It's fascinating to see as we've been walking up, all the villagers cracking the nuts. Yeah, peeling them, cracking them, they've boiled them, they've removed these beautiful white candle nuts. And then I guess the next stage is drying. It must be what they've got here. So exactly we have a look. what you got here. So here we have them drying. But as they're drying them, they're also smoking them underneath. They, they smoke, they take the husks and then they start to burn them on an ember. Then it has a beautiful aroma that kind of goes over it or a smokiness to it. Yeah, sure. And that's what I love about the jungle is everything is resourceful, everything is used. There's, there's a theory that the, the nut starts out white, uh, yeah. pearl white, and then obviously it seems to be getting a bit of color from the smoking process. But they say in its raw form, they cannot be It's poisonous. Eaten. Do you wanna do you wanna test that and just stuff that in and see how you feel in an hour? After you. No, I'm good. No, I've got a rafting element to do and I'm yeah. not interested in going having that problem. So also further up here, I've got a beautiful place where we can cook some fantastic diac food. Where we should probably be using some of these nuts. Indeed we shall be.